What's going on guys, it's Cousin Tech here and today I'm going to show you how to use the Bessel project which is for RetroArch, MAME and Rocket Launcher Remember this is a tutorial for Windows so maybe later I will cover the RetroPie version and also remember all the links will be down in the description box below So, are you ready? Alright then, so what is the Bessel project? Well, it is a fan-made project where you can download an insane amount of pre-made vessels and they will be automatically configured so that all you have to do is open the game and play. So, this project is compatible with the following systems Atari 2006, 52 and 78 Atari Jaguar, Lynx, Aromis Wave, C64 ColecoVision, Daphne, Sega Dreamcast, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo GameCube, GBE Vitrix, Main, Master System, Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis, MSX and MSX2, N64 Naomi, the NES, NGP and NGPC, PCE CD, PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn, Sega 32X, Sega CD, FCG, SG-1000, SNES, Super Graph X, TGCD, and TG-16. Alright then, so let's go to this website to download it. Here, click on Releases or scroll down and hit here, Releases. Then click here in the X to download it. Once done, install the software then open it. I will cancel this since I already have it installed. Mm, Alright, so every time you open the software, you're going to see the screen right here. But in short, to summarize what they are saying there, they recommend you to use a fresh install of RetroArch installation and your runes have to be named exactly as their no intro rune set. So it's up to you to use the no intro rune set or simply change the names of your games same as their no intro rune set. And additionally, if you're gonna use this with Rocket Launcher, you have to go to the, your Rocket Launcher directory like this. And here in media, you have to create this folder that says vessels. Alright, once ready, hit OK, then hit OK. Here, click on preferences. So in this window, first we have to find the directory of our main or RetroArch or Rocket Launcher. In my case, I'm gonna find all of them. Here in main, hit select. There you go. Then RetroArch. And finally, Rocket Launcher. Okay, so in the right side of the bezel screen, we have the bezel style, which is in theme or in system art. Choose the one you prefer, then hit save. Now select number one. For this tutorial, I'm doing this for RetroArch, but if you're doing this for main or rocket launcher, choose select them. I choose RetroArch, then hit OK. Then you're gonna see this window. The first thing that you have to do is select here in update, then choose OK. What is that option for? That is because if there are newer vessels, by selecting that, they are gonna appear here. Alright, now here in this list you can see which systems you can select. In my case, I'm gonna select N64 here. Now you can see here that it says not installed. That is because I haven't used it. 
but once you do, it's gonna say installed. Now be sure that both of these options says yes. Then select OK. One thing that you have to keep in mind is you will not be able to see the progress bar, so let it finish and take its time. Once done, all you have to do now is open RetroArch, open your games, and that's it. But there is one thing that you have to keep in mind. Not every core in RetroArch is automatically configured to be able to use vessels. And the ones that I have tested myself are the following, which are compatible with the automatic configuration. For the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, you can use Gambate and NGBA. For the Game Boy Advance, you can use NGBA and BBA Nets. For the NES, you can use FCM and Nestopia. For the SNES, you can use SNES 9X Current and SNES 9X 2010. Finally, for the Sega Genesis, you can use Genesis Plus GX. And finally, I'm going to show you the location where you can find your main RetroArch and Rocket Launcher vessels that have been downloaded with this application. In the case of Rocket Launcher, in the Rocket Launcher directory, then Media, then Vessels. They are divided by systems. Now let's go for MAME. In the MAME directory, in the folder Artwork, they are divided by their room names. And finally, for RetroArch, they are here in the RetroArch directory, then Overlays, and finally Game Vessels. They are divided by systems. That's all for now guys, hit the like button if you like the video, hit dislike if you dislike it, subscribe for more content, leave me any questions or suggestions that you may have in the comment section, and see you in the next one.